What does it mean graphically if there's not a solution? Like here we got a solution. What would it mean if there's no solution? If the two lines don't in intersect. Good, I like that logic. Remember a solution is an intersection point. If there's no solution, that means they don't intersect. What types of lines don't intersect? Parallel lines. Parallel lines, okay? And this is only in Euclidean geometry. That means this type of geometry that we're doing. To give you an insight in more math, if we did something non-Euclidean like spherical geometry, that actually is not true. Because think about the globe. At the equator, you have the lines of longitude that are all perpendicular. So actually they are par parallel right there. But guess what? They do intersect. Okay, so that's just a side note only to let you know that there's higher levels of math in this area. And that's where it becomes exciting. Once you get good at this type of math, then you can take fun, interesting math courses that kind of blow your mind a little bit. If this doesn't already blow your mind. <laughs> Okay, so parallel lines. So like two parallel lines like this or here, it doesn't matter which direction they're in. They're not gonna meet, so they're not gonna have a solution. And then remember, something with one solution is like this. It, it can be anywhere. It could be here, 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 but it's gonna have an intersection point. So that's one solution. What is the third option? So you can have one solution, no solutions. Third option is? Infinite solutions. Ah, so graphically, what do you think a system that has infinite solutions looks like? Are they the same line? Or? They end up being the same line. So they might look different. So you have one line, then you have another line that looks like it's a different one. But then when you look at when you graph it and like when you do everything, it's actually the same line. So it's right on top of it. It could be anywhere in space, but it's parallel, but it's not even just parallel to the line. It's right on top of it. So it's going to have an infinite number of solutions. And that one's called a dependent system. 